Hi Taurus, I hope everybody's doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for November 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so it won't be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, Taurus, let's see what is the overall energy for you this month. We have conclusion, all right. Well, something is concluding. Um, could be just a cycle. It could be a connection. We'll see. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed, all right, because this reading is general. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on first half of November? So for the situation, we have the moon in reverse crossed by the Eight of Cups. All right, so definitely a walking away from something. I feel like something has become more clear or, you know, maybe there were some fears that have been released or that have come up to the surface at least. All right, something definitely though has been revealed and I feel like that is actually causing somebody to um, move away from something, detach from something. So for your energy here, we have the 10 of pentacles and we have justice in reverse. For another person here, we have the emperor in reverse and we have the three of wands in reverse. All right, coming up for you, we have death. All right, okay, <laughs> there's that conclusion. Um, for them, we have the star and potential outcome here, we have the hanged man. All right, Taurus, why are your readings always seem to be the most complicated? Um, well, let's see. I feel like this is a, a commitment that you have been in where things just didn't work out, okay, with justice being in reverse. Um, could be dealing with the Libra. We also have Scorpio showing up. We have Aquarius. Aries, Pisces, we have a whole bunch of signs, but of course it could be any sign, all right? Um, yeah, so definitely feeling like so either something just wasn't, wasn't fair or maybe this is a decision that you've been trying to make that you just have not been really successful at finalizing, but I do see you moving in the direction of, of there being some kind of a conclusion, some kind of an ending here, okay? To something at least. Um, for them, Because again, and I feel like this has come up for you before, I'm not sure if this is the same person. Maybe it'll be clear, maybe it won't, okay? Could always be that you are dealing with more than one person, okay? So always keep that in mind. Um, yeah, there's somebody here who is not really, um, just not in a very good energy at the moment. Um, but whoever this is, with the Three of Wands being in reverse, something didn't happen the way they expected either. So, and I feel like this person may have been waiting, they're not waiting anymore. However, we do have the star. So there is some kind of a hope here. There is some kind of a, something this person is wishing for though. So very interesting, we'll see. We'll see, and then with the hanged man. So I feel like this is, this is a process. This is something that is either, you know, might take a little bit of time because I feel like it just involves either having to compromise something, possibly having to sacrifice something else, or just really having to uh, make an adjustment to seeing something from a, from a new perspective. So, I don't know, let's, let's get into this. So let's clarify the moon with the Eight of Cups. So, so the way it's showing up in this reading, it's the Taurus energy who is bringing something to an end, okay? But again, feel free to reverse the roles. All right, so here you are. <laughs> All right, Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, definitely a connection just did not work out in the way that you had been expecting. And I do feel like, like it is painful. It is... Um, Again, something was something was revealed here. So either you may have been in denial of that, 
of the fact that it just wasn't exactly what you would have wanted or you found out something and again like it is it is painful there is an ending here um and two of cups being in reverse it's it's just it's not where you want to be at the moment it's not where you want to be at the moment and i do see you being pretty confident within your own self about what it is that you want at least and what it is that you want is to walk away uh, let's see that ten of pentacles Right, we have the two of swords in reverse and the devil yeah this is i don't know what this connection is um but i feel like you know there's some toxicity in it there may have been some codependency i also get that you know there was just not much compatibility there may have been in the beginning or it may have seen seemed that way maybe there was sexual attraction i don't know but whatever the case i feel like this is something though that does seem to be very either very committed or you thought that that's what it was going to um, lead to. Like you were expecting this Ten of Pentacles, um, you know, the long-term commitment. And for some of you, it could even be, you know, like a marriage or something very, um, very committed. But it's like you, you cannot see eye to eye with this person. There's, there's a big clash here, which leads to this being unhealthy. Let's see justice in reverse. I have the ace of swords in reverse. Let's see what else. And the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, so there was a lot of resistance here. Um, I feel like you you haven't really been making a decision or you haven't been from, and I do see this as being more of a past energy because I see that in the current energy right now, for what the situation is, it feels like you, you're you pretty aware of what it is that you want to do. And it could even be, you know, that you are aware of this and just not really doing it just yet, all right? Because the death card is actually in the um, more of a future energy here, okay, as to where you're, you're moving towards. And I feel like, you know, the more that you stayed in an unjust situation or in a situation, and I say unjust, and it doesn't mean necessarily that the other person was unjust. It could just be that you were not... Um, you're not compatible. There's something here that is off and that cre does create something that is unhealthy. All right, so the more that you were staying in this unjust situation, right, it's not in alignment with your, with your own truth. And so the more it was keeping you from being able to move forward, and I feel like there was a lot of resistance here when it came to making a decision and and sticking to it so let's see what's going on with this other person down here because they have pretty interesting energy here let's see the emperor in reverse the two of pentacles in reverse and they have justice in reverse as well hmm All right, this is somebody who, I don't know if they are possessive, if they're the ones who are not, you know, who are being unjust, so to speak. It doesn't really matter. The point is this person is having um, a really hard time dealing with the situation as it is right now. I feel like this person um, was trying to juggle a lot of different things at the same time, so that could have definitely affected this situation. Um, it could be that this person was also, it's coming in as somebody who wants to be in control or wants to be, you know, to have their way, but not doing it in a healthy way. So it might be a little bit of possessiveness here, but in a way where it just didn't make any sense. So it's kind of, 
And I feel like that was actually creating a lot of conflict. It was creating like a stormy type of an environment, even if it wasn't straight out arguing, which of course for some of you it could have been, I'm just not specifically seeing that. Um, I feel like it was just creating a lot of um, tension. And it was just something, it's like this person was having a very hard time understanding or dealing with the toxicity that was coming into the connection. So the reason why I feel that with this person having um, justice in reverse, even though you also have justice in reverse, is because they also have the emperor in reverse here. And so it's coming in as somebody really wanting to have that, like, more of an authority type of a role, but either abusing that power or just not using it in the right way, or in a way where it's just not fair, it's, it's not just. And this could even come off as, a, it's going to be at a, either extreme okay like at an at one of the ends of the spectrum of where it could be complete indifference right wanting their way like as in being able to do other things you know just um just really being um negligent or you know even ignoring or it could be at the other end you know, being overly, overly possessive or just wanting their way, or possibly even both. It could be both at the same time as well. I don't know what's going on here, Taurus. Let's see the three of wands. All right. <clears throat> Tower may, may have, or may not have been in reverse. The Three of Swords in reverse, and I also have the Sun in reverse kind of flip over as well, so I'll take that. Alright, so we also have, um, did I mention Libra? Libra showing up here as well as Leo. It feels like this person is just not really doing anything. I feel like for them, it's not what they expected either. And this is creating a bit of a tower moment for them. Like it's creating um, a sense of unhappiness and just like, you know, what I thought was going to happen here didn't happen. And so, you know, their world is kind of deteriorating, but I feel like they're not really doing much about it. It is creating pain for them, though. It is creating pain for them, though, that I feel like they're that they're avoiding though, like they're avoiding really addressing it. I actually feel like they're even avoiding this tower, but it's like there. Um, they can't avoid it. And so they're just, there's just a lot of, um, it just feels like unhappiness and a lot of pain that they are avoiding. And it's because they're just not even expecting anything anymore. But I feel like that's, that's changing here. There's, it's like they still want this though. They still want this. So let me just clarify that for you, for what is coming up. Yeah, the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, definitely this connection, again, it's showing up possibly as a marriage or just a very strong commitment here. You're just not willing to compromise. You're not willing to compromise or to, you know, collaborate in this anymore. You're moving towards an ending here. It's very, very clear. So very specific um, message here. So yeah, it might not be your situation. That's totally okay. Let's see the star for this other person. Okay, and we have the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. What is it with this person? I feel like this person is just all over the place. They don't even know what's going on. <laughs> um, I feel like once you close that door, right? Once you put that ending, this person is, you know, going to feel very lonely. This person is going to feel like they have lost something. And they're not going to like that. They're, I feel like they're going to try to come back. That's what this is about. That's why we have the star here. They're going to, you know, wish for this to be able to work out. I don't know how ready they are, like if they're really gonna have changed. I mean, the star is very, very positive, but then we have the 
Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. So, so I can see why, you know, there's this hanging man here for the potential outcome. It's kind of like, yeah, it's like a cliffhanger here. Like what, what's happening with this person? You know, are they <clears throat> going to change this behavior? People do not change that easily. To be honest, I do see some kind of a healing, some kind of a healing, but I don't feel like it's going to be 100%, right? The Seven of Swords is still here. So for me, th that's like a message of, you know, be just be cautious, you know, be cautious. If, you know, you feel like this, you want this to be done and you want to be out of this, you know, then, you know, follow that. Be, be cautious of this person um, coming back in this way. And I'm not saying, you know, if this is something that you do want in the in the long run, you know, okay, we'll leave it for the long run when things have actually shifted, if they do. All right, so let's see that hanged man. All right, and we have strength. <clears throat> All right, so Leo energy showing up here again. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, and I do feel like this is something that does require strength and I feel like you are moving in the direction of strength, but I'm also getting here, you know, allow yourself to, to take, take time, not in putting an end to this. If you feel like ending this now, by all means, end it now. Um, but you know, give yourself time to either recover or, you know, to whatever it is that you want to do afterwards or how you want to progress afterwards. Have compassion for your own self, you know, just take it easy, basically. Um, or maybe there's, there's a Leo here for you. <laughs> All right, guys, um, Taurus, those were your messages. Yeah, it is a little bit, it is a little bit on the heavy side, but, um, and specific message, but yeah, if this resonated, please give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. Much love.